I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. Let's take a look at a variety of different edging tools. Uh, edging tools are a very important tool used during the finishing operation. As you can see, they, came, they come in a very uh, wide variety, ranging from 4 inch down to 2 or 3 inch wide. An important uh, consideration when choosing your hand edging tool is the radius. And I would say the radius uh, that's most commonly used is somewhere in the vicinity of a quarter inch to somewhere around a half inch, maybe three eighths of an inch radius is used. As you can see, sometimes we even modify edgers. This is in fact a hand edger. We use this primarily on backsplashes for concrete countertops. In addition to edging tools, you have tools also that we refer to as a combination tool. So you have the beveled edge or the radius edger portion of this edger, but in addition you have what we call a groover. So it simultaneously puts a groove in the concrete while you're establishing the beveled edge around the perimeter of your form. Graduating from there, we have what's called the walking edger, and it simply is for edging long spanses such as a long sidewalk or maybe a large patio or pool deck. You have the handle that simply attaches into this one, and the technician is able to stand up and walk along putting the edge in. Let's go show you how these edging tools work. Here are our edgers, both the hand edger and the walking edger. If you're doing long areas like a long sidewalk or patio, for example, it's probably much more efficient to use the walking edger, but it is okay to use the hand edger. A common mistake that I see first time finishers use is not using the, the tool properly, meaning they don't run it flat. First thing I like to do is clean the edge of my form so I can see the edge specifically, but what happens is this tool is designed to be run flat, so you want to see a little bit of a line out here. This line is an indicator that the tool is in fact running flat from here to here. And as I just talked about, what happens is first time users inevitably will do this. The fact that the tool has not been run flat, assuming that we take off our form and pour concrete the next day, now this would uh, potentially hold water. So it's important to see this little faint outer line and make sure that the tool is running flat. Doesn't matter if you're using the hand edger or the walking edger. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.